Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna install Minecraft server in Docker. All right, so let's get started. All right guys, so go ahead and head over to the Docker hub and find itzg slash Minecraft dash server. Uh, this is a great image created. Um, as you can see, it was updated nine days ago. So you can scroll down here to simply use the latest stable version. All you'd have to do is essentially copy this here. Copy this here and paste it into your Docker server. But um, I have a written um, parameters right here. So I'm just gonna pull this up. I've already copied all that. So let's minimize this. So as you see here, we got Docker run. We have our port listed. We have the name as well. Don't forget to put the EULA true here. Otherwise, if this is a brand new server, it will not work. It will time out um, because the EULA has not been accepted. So make sure you do add this line in here. Um, I have restart always. So just in case the server does restart, the Minecraft server will come back online. This is the directory for the Minecraft server. So if you guys have an existing uh, data file or anything like that, you can throw it into this right here, which is your local data. And then of course the image here, so that pulls that. So let's go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna paste it and hit enter. So it's gonna go ahead, download the image and then extract it for us. I'll just give this a minute. Should be pretty quick. Perfect. Okay, so as you see here, the uh, shout out a string right there, which is our container. We're gonna do docker start MC. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it. So I'm gonna open up Minecraft. All right, so I'm under multiplayer. I'm gonna click direct connection. This is the IP address of my Docker server. I'm gonna click join server. Let's give this a minute. It does have to build the world. And here we are. So we are now in our world. I'm gonna go ahead and I can play this no problem now. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring a disconnect from this. So one great thing about having the Docker image to create Minecraft is that you can create multiple servers. So we have the Minecraft uh, server one running right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a second server to run at the same time. So all we need to do is just edit the config here. So we're gonna change the port to a six here. So 25566, keep this one the same. We're then gonna change the name here to Minecraft or MC2. Then all we need to do here is go ahead and we can edit this folder here and it's gonna create the folder for us. So I'm gonna do Minecraft 2 just to kind of keep it in line with everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this now. I'm gonna paste it, hit enter. It's gonna create our container. We are now gonna just gonna do a Docker start MC2. Now, Minecraft Server 2 is running. Let's go ahead and do a direct connection. I have the port already listed in here. And so it's 25566. So you wanna do colon 25566, click join server. Let's give this a minute. And it looks like we're logging in. And here we are. We are in. We have a new world here. And we can do whatever we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this. A little wood chopping, put it there and check this out. I can disconnect, do a direct connect. I'm gonna to go to the standard port, click join. And now I'm in my other world. So it's pretty neat. All right, and the last thing I need to show you guys is essentially the port forwarding. So all you would need to do is I'm in my router here Log into the router. I'm gonna do an add a custom service. We can type in, let's say Minecraft server two, if we wanted to. We can then um, click, type in the port range. So it would be 25566. Put in the IP address of our Docker server, and then just click apply. So now anyone that wants to connect to our Minecraft server two would just type in our external IP address colon 25566 into Minecraft. And once they do that, they'll connect directly to our server. 
That's it for today's video. We made two Minecraft servers with a Docker image. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and take care.